I'm Dan Galusha and welcome to another edition of Dan's Fishing Tales. And actually this kind of uh, relates to shoot and plank. Besides, why? Because I'm going to tell you an idea that I have for using the Plano Z series uh, for both ways. And yet it's not going to have fishing tackle, it's not going to have shooting equipment in it. So how would it be related? Well this is a waterproof bag as I showed you before. I don't have it fastened because I want to show you what I am going to do with it. I'm going to use just about every feature it has. This bag here of course being the quick zip opening. What am I going to put in there? Well, I've got a remote control right here. Put that right back in there. Along with a lot of other flat stuff that I've got. <laughs> you're, you're still wondering, what are you going to do with this thing? I'm going to use it as my camera bag. That's right. The one thing we want with our cameras is to keep them waterproof. That's why when we're out shooting, we say we're going to bag a camera. Back when I worked with Virgil Ward, I remember Spurgeon May, he was his cameraman at that time. He says, Virgil, we got to bag this thing. It's getting pretty rocky out here. And we were getting caught in a storm without a doubt. And it's raining right now. I don't know if you can see the water on that, but you can see how waterproof and how resistant that is. So what else am I going to do? Well, you're looking at me through the camera right now and the microphone's up there. But what I am going to do, remove the 3700s that come in this and use another Plano product, a Weekender. I'm going to take this and I'm going to remove these. Now I've got another empty. What am I going to do with my Weekenders? They're going to go in there and they're going to have my camera and because I've got a Canon 40 and it's just you know about like this whatever like I said you're looking at me through it and that is going to go in here and I can also put my shotgun mic in here yep that's a one about like that it just fit in here perfectly and it's got its own little bag that goes into so that will work perfect and I can just put that right down into there you know of course it's not going to I'm not going to drop it in there like that I can put my batteries in one of those or here's another thing I can do I got an edge flex <laughs> man this is perfect for this sort of stuff this 3700 edge flex it's got plenty of space this way and if I want I don't even need these I can take those out completely and just open it up and put stuff right in there between this, this can fit my other microphone stuff, all my wiring and that sort of thing. I probably will put a partition across here somewhere and make them into compartments so that I have that. And that is going to really, really work well. Now what I've got is all waterproof. I've got a waterproof box. I've got the water wicking inside of it, which of course, right there, a little water wick. I'm going to have that, I've got the rust stricter uh, stuff that's in it, the treatment. What more I want for waterproofing other than putting it into a waterproof bag. Now I get caught in the rain or whatever, yeah I'm really going to bag it if I have to because I'm not going to shoot out of that bag, that's for sure. But uh, it's going to be great for that and I can use it for any season. During the winter, any season because it's all right in here. And if you want, you could even put some hand warmers down in there to warm things up, uh, such as your batteries. Because when you're shooting with a camera, sometimes your batteries will go down. You wouldn't believe it. You can. We actually, in one show, we put some batteries in the back of a car window. We were doing an ice fishing show. We didn't need much time. We needed to close the show, but didn't have enough battery. Put it in the back of the window. The solar heating of that on that battery picked it up. My cameraman said, I'm going to slap these in don't screw it up do it on a first take slapped it in and we finished that Dan's fishing tales episode uh, it, it, it was amazing but it did work we got it done and we had enough time because we still had a little bit of battery left and then it was gone it was toast but that gives you an idea of some of the things you can do with this and what would I do with this I forgot about that I've got a tripod and that's what's going to be in here. We're going to fasten that down. Tripod will go right in here. It's got its arm to it, so it's going to hold it anyway here. But we're going to strap it down tight. It's going to—it's not going to slip down. 
and it'll be easy to take out of there. Now that's my idea for the 3700Z series backpack. Then I can take it with me if I'm shooting and planking. I can throw it over my shoulder, take my guns, carry those at the same time, my range bag, and head to Cedar Oaks and do that. And for fishing, and throw it over my back. If we're going to be doing a shoreline thing, which we do a lot of the shoreline stuff rather than boat, or I can throw this into one of my bass boat compartments. If we're in a small boat, same thing. We got it just like that. So it works great for that. So you think of an idea, and it just, <laughs> you know, the, the sky's the limit on this stuff. Add that flex box, that uh, edge flex box. Look at what you got. You got all sorts of possibilities. So until next time, get out on the water and enjoy a great day of fishing.